Hi, we're the Brew Dudes, and we got a great show for you today. Today we're going to be tasting some sweet or milk stouts. What defines them is the presence of lactose sugar, which is unfermentable and gives them a very sweet taste. So first up, we have the Mackeson Stout out of England. And then we have the Milk Stout from the Left Hand Brewery in um, Colorado. Then we have Young's Double Chocolate Stout out of England. And last but not least, we have Bell's Kalamazoo Stout out of Michigan. All right, so first up, the Mackesons. First off, you notice this one has a very dark brown head to it. It's kind of nice. Mmm, some coffee. chocolatey and sweet and roasty. Too. Yeah, I like it all. Yeah. Wow, very roasty. Very and roasty, and then the end it finishes with a nice sweet stout finish that yeah. leaves you wanting more. And it's got some, a lot of chocolate notes in there, but it's mostly roast through, and it's very smooth and beautiful. A great stout. All right, now we have Left Hand's uh, Milk Stout. Milk Stout, yeah. A lot of coffee on the nose here. Wow, nothing but coffee that I catch. And a little bit of roast and malt, I think. Yeah, coffee and roasted malts. Coffee and roasted malts, but still a good stout nevertheless. It blends together pretty well. It's a little bit harsher, not quite as balanced. I agree. It's not kind of quite as sweet as the Mackesons was. All right, now we have Young's Double Chocolate Stout. Mmm, chocolatey. Yeah, a lot of sweet chocolates there. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That reminds me of the Rogue uh, Chocolate Stout. Yeah. Uh, it's a very, very, very good stout. It's yeah. sweet, has a heavy mouthfeel. Mmm, delicious. Yeah, it doesn't have the roast notes that the other ones have. Yeah. It's very nice, very smooth too. It'd be a great dessert beer. Absolutely. Now we have the Bell's Kalamazoo Stout. Less strong nose here, but it's still got some good coffee and roast. I can catch a little chocolate as well there, too. Mm. Hmm. Roasted malt's strong here. Yeah, it's a lot roastier than I remember it. Uh, but uh, coffee comes through, and a little bit of chocolate in the end. Yeah. But all in all, good. good tasting. Yeah. Um, so we're going to go thumbs up, thumbs down on all of these. Uh, first up, the Mackesons. Big thumbs up here. Uh, great delicious beer. It is well blended. It's got all three major flavors, chocolate, uh, roasted malts, and coffee, but it blends it together with a nice sweet finish that I really like. Yeah, I gotta give that one a thumbs up too. I think it actually is my favorite of the group, which is a pretty big surprise for me. And it has that very nice sweet finish to it, which is excellent. All right. I like it. So uh, then we have the left hand milk stout. I'm going to give it a thumbs to the side. I think it doesn't have the coffee that's needed in a sweet stout, um, but if you like coffee flavors and roasted malts alone and you don't really like the chocolate, this is one you should try. i got to be honest, I didn't really like it much. I'm going to give it a thumbs down. It, the coffee just overpowered everything. It had some roast back in it, but I just didn't think it was very balanced and just not a great beer. All right, um, Young's Double Chocolate, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I really like the chocolate in this. I love chocolate stouts of all flavors and types. Um, so, young double chocolate, big thumbs up for me. Yep, it's a big thumbs up for me as well. It's an excellent beer, very sweet. If you like chocolate, give it a try. And yeah, good dessert beer. All right, uh, Bell's Kalamazoo. I'm going to give a thumbs up. Um, I like it less than the Macklesons, but it's my second favorite of the tasting. It's got complex roasted malts and a little bit of coffee that I really like. I'm going to give it a thumbs up as well. It was sort of underwhelming, but it's still a very, very good stout, and I actually think it was my third favorite of the tasting, which is a surprise for me, because I've loved it in the past. All right, well, thanks for watching. We're the Brew Dudes. Visit our website at www.thebrewdudes.com. Uh, we'll see you next time. Happy drinking.